You know, ladies and gentlemen, my mission is about freedom. Freedom that comes from your relationship with the power, the only power, your relationship with God. But freedom that comes that would allow you to understand God by receiving certain truths. Freedom is very important. And every individual on earth craves freedom. Every man, every woman craves freedom. And the way the system is designed to be, it allows everyone to participate in the process of creation. So when we see creation, we recognize the power of humankind they have caused creation they humankind have caused creation and they humankind benefits from all that they have created unlimited and no one has any control over anyone other than that control which is placed over everyone and so what I'm basically saying, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a mother and you got kids that you care for, that's your job if that's what you love doing. Maybe you don't have children. Maybe you just like to keep your house beautiful and your yard beautiful. That's your job. That's your participation in our society. That is your participation. But not only that, ladies and gentlemen, this is open. It is open for everyone everyone. So what that means? That means that every one of us, though we need each other and we work together for one another so that we can live, at the same time we must each be able to stand alone. We must be able to stand alone. In other words, we must not be bound by what some individual might be able to do to us. Can they cause us to do something we don't want to do? Can they prevent us from doing something we have no choice in? That cannot exist. Each of us are free. The thing that gets me most is the bondage, the chains that men usually in the past and presently want to put on women, telling women what they can do. Well, women must be free to be free, controlled by no one. And even when it comes to abortion, that's a woman's decision. A man has nothing to do with it. Even the one who helped get her pregnant has nothing to do with it. Whether that baby's going to stay in her or come out of her is her decision. And we as men got nothing to say about it. Our business is to love, not to be making that kind of judgment. Judgment that causes pain to others and they're crying and saying no, no, no. And we're going to say yes, yes, yes. You take that devilish stuff to hell. It's not acceptable where well, we care about one another. <clears throat> and when people are together, this is speaking in relationship to the number of divorces that we have. When people are together, let it be. Because they choose to be. They want to be. And they are. It's not because of anything other than that. And when they want to split, they can split. And no one can hold the other one there by some power move, like where you're going to get your money from, where you're going to go. The society is opened just like the grocery store, just like the department store. Everything that is manifest by the hands of man has its place on society everywhere, everywhere. Ex what, and it's available to human beings everywhere in America, in India, in China, in Africa, in the Philippines, wherever there are people who have needs and wants and desires that live in peace and are prosperous and free and joyous, their dreams must come true. This is what this basic mission of human rights there for all people every last one of us. And we are a long way from that now. But it is time for us to change. It is time for us as human beings to change. And the ones who got to love them, 
the ones who got some God in them will take care of this. All right? Until next time, Eddie Marcus saying goodbye for now. Freedom for everyone. <laughs>